Good morning everyone. Welcome once again to Ho Chi Minh City. This is day three in Ho Chi Minh City for me. Uh, this is out here in Vietnam by the way. Guys, it's been epic thus far. Wow man, that's all I can say. So, uh, last night I had coffee at this place called Wayne's Coffee. As you can see, it's just down the, the strip from where I'm staying. And uh, it was amazing. They're a bit expensive, but the coffee was really good. Uh, you'll see there's two branches. There's this one over here, and then there's one attached to the hotel as well. And then there's also an ATM outside the hotel in case you don't have any money. All convenient. So yesterday I went to visit the Kuchi tunnels in Ho Chi Minh City, or that's in the uh, Kuchi district of Ho Chi Minh City. Guys, that was epic. Man, that was insane. If you're coming to Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, guys, that's one of the tours that you gotta do. It is mind-blowing, it is eye-opening, and you get to learn so much about the war that's been taking place here in Vietnam and the suffering of the people and the fighting and so forth. So guys, I, I guarantee you're gonna enjoy that, um, or I guarantee you're gonna find so much value in doing that tour. This is what I find that a lot of people are doing during the day. The city is very quiet, or not very quiet, but it's, it's, it's less busy than usual uh, during the day. But at night, the city comes to life. Because during the day, everybody's doing these tours that's on offer. And at night, they come to uh, chill out, have some dinner, have sundowners. And uh, for those that uh, was in that scene, into that scene, they'll have some party time at the clubs and so forth so there's many of that going around so yesterday I did that tour and today I thought I haven't actually explored the city yet uh, I've done some walks through down the streets and so forth but I haven't done a, an actual tour of the city so I'm gonna do that this morning well, I'm gonna do that throughout today starting this morning and um, find some hidden gems find some places that's uh, that's of interest and I'll, I'll show you whatever I can now I haven't had breakfast yet uh, but I'm gonna do that in a minute but first let me show you guys where I'm staying and then I want to show you close to which area I'm actually staying all right um, to get to my hotel you have to go through a couple of these alleys and uh, these little shortcuts so they are behind these buildings you can see there's a whole host of these buildings all over the strip right and and behind these buildings is more buildings uh, and more buildings so there's a few blocks but you can only get there by walking through these alleys. As you'll see, there's a narrow one. Um, and there's another one on this side next to Vietnam. And then right on the other side, all the way through, you will find Bien Vu Road. That is the main strip. It's actually called the Red Light District of Ho Chi Minh City. Let me just cross the road, guys. All right, made it. Okay. So check this out. I'm gonna show you first of all how I get to my hotel and then I'm gonna go through all the way through to ah oh, there's Taj Mahal as well another Indian restaurant you see guys so I'm gonna go this way this is where my hotel is see all of these are hotels and um, dormitories hostels so that's where my hotel is, Felix Hotel, which is actually a very nice hotel, guys, I've got to say. Got good ratings on booking.com, so that's it. Now to get to the red light district, we'll be in the new road. Of course, a lot of these people live here too, and they've created like pop-up restaurants for homemade dishes, and there's obviously also massage parlors in here. More alleys down there. See another hostel. Yeah. 
these. So they've, they've turned it into private businesses as well. LEDs. I is a nail salon. And uh, obviously also also um, massage parlor. Right. Check this guys. I am right here at the end of road. And this is where the party is at at night. This is where things happen. So it's Bui. Bui Vin Road. Walking Street. Bui Vin Walking Street. All these restaurants, clubs, and seeing some of my other videos, what it looks like at night in this area. Um, no cars really, but there are some bikes still riding in the street at night, but mostly walking and so many hotels, hostels, Airbnbs on this road as well. As you can see, luxury rooms, all of these guys. All of these businesses are now still recovering from last night. So they're cleaning up and getting ready again for this evening. So I'm not going to have breakfast here, guys. I'm actually going to go the other way to get some breakfast. But I thought, let me just show you this road and so you can get an understanding of what it looks like and what goes down in the street. This is the red light district, so obviously you know there's going to be a whole lot of massage parlors and there's going to be some some other activities taking place here as well. So if you're into those kind of things, guys, this is probably the place to be. Of course, you know the food's going to be more expensive down that street, that walking street, because they are obviously catering now for the tourists and so there's all sorts of cuisine I'll look at this alley as well so but what I'm saying is they, they're catering for all the tourists with the for the local cuisines um, but if you want proper Vietnamese food then these are the kind of alleys that you actually got to follow and you'll find that those homemade little restaurants those pop-up restaurants will have the food at a very very cheap price they're just trying to make a living so uh, give that a thought as well if you want to support the local community that's the one I want to do tomorrow and then that one as well I just want to see how far it is if I can do it in the same day So I just took a grab to come out here to Notre Dame but guys it seems like it's under construction I'm not sure if it's open to the public right now I'm gonna go a bit closer and see but I also see another building on this side where there's quite a bit of activity and I'm almost sure that that is the post office building let me just double check right that's what you would have seen
Well guys, I tried. I wanted to show you the Notre Dame, but you know what, it is what it is. So let's find the, uh, there's a park that I want to go to as well. Tao Dan Park, I think. Tao Dan Park. And let's see if we can walk there or if I have to take a grab again. Notre Dame, Saigon. It's another major tourist attraction, but I mean it's closed, so what are you going to do? Let's see what this building is. So I've just confirmed it is the central post office. Let's check it out. Welcome. Wow. Check out this architecture, man. Check it out, we made it. This must be the old little kiosks. Well, I suppose these parts are still operational. The rest of the building is now, uh, looks like a whole market scene. But they're still operational, so. Oh, so cool, guys. When I when last of you received a when last have you received a postcard from somewhere? I always joke to my friends saying that I'm going to send them postcards from wherever I am, but I never do it. But I see that it's still a thing. Wow. Alright guys, so uh, the next place I want to visit is the Ho Chi Minh City Book Street. Apparently it's like a hundred meters of bookstores um, all close to each other, next to each other. And uh, oh, well, I'm going to check it out now, see what kind of books they have and what kind of stores they have. Found it! Alright, let's see what we have guys.
And there are some more coffee shops and restaurants on the side as well and they too have books so I'm not sure if those are for sale or if you uh, just read them while you're eating or drinking at this restaurant but pretty cool <laughs> And the cool thing guys is that the street is actually very uh, covered with trees so it's very cool in here because I tell you you need this it is 36 degrees outside Guys, have you ever seen a bigger concentration of bikes in one place? I gotta admit, I haven't seen that at all. Like, in all of my travels, I've, I've seen a lot of bikes in Thailand. I've seen now in, in uh, Cambodia and now in Vietnam as well, in, well in Ho Chi Minh City right now. Just the amount of active bikes on the road is just insane. Okay, so, see what I mean? I mean, this is nothing. Earlier on, I've just seen tons and tons of bikes. It's just unbelievable. India is another one of them, where there's tons and tons of bikes. Um, I've seen in uh, Mumbai, in uh, New Delhi, Goa. But I mean, this is just next level. Manila to Cebu in the Philippines Right, I see it so uh, guys, I was on my way to the Tao Dan Park and then I just checked on Google Maps. One of the other places I wanted to go to anyway was this market called Ben Tan. Ben Tan. Uh, forgive my pronunciation. So uh, when I checked Google Maps, I saw that this one was closer to where I was coming from. So let's just go to this market first and then after this we will go to Tao Dan Park. 
chance. Thank you. Right. Different part of the city, guys. I'll check on Google Maps where I am. And then I'll give you that name in the description as well. Uh, it's just the problem is, guys, I can't pronounce the names. And sometimes when I read it, it's, it's, not, it's not what I'm reading at all. Okay, looks like an indoor market. Yeah, definitely. Oh, let's just go straight. Thank you. Come on. Hello. Yeah, it's your typical uh, indoor market, guys. But I see a whole lot of coffee and teas, and then nuts and dried fruit, uh, dried fruit and those type of stuff. Um, obviously, there's the textile on the other side. I just remember that I came from the Northern Gate. The, uh, invitation. Yeah, so it's the same way I want to go out when I go to the uh, to the park later. So you see, this side is now uh, the bags and watches, jewelry. Okay. Okay. So. And again, I see. Mostly locals. Every now and then I'll see a, a uh, what seems to me like a foreigner. So, kind of standing out here a bit. Especially walking with a camera. <laughs> now we're at the clothing section. Again, this seems to be ladies. Oops. I want to see if I can find a dry bag actually. Or like a foldable, foldable backpack. Let's just go back to, to that section. See if we can find a foldable backpack because mine's breaking. They had the uh, North Face. You see this brand. But it was uh, $10 and the quality wasn't that great for me. It's obviously a knockoff. But North Face is not going to sell that kind of product. Not going to sell that kind of quality. It's going to be a much better quality. All right. And was going for ten dollars, which I think is okay. But it's not much different to the quality one that I have right now. And this one just broke. The seam seemed very thin or very lightweight. All right, back to the north gate. How long has it been in there? Uh, one year. Sir. One year. Oh. And the scorpion as well? Ew. 
not for me. I think it's a Southeast Asian thing. The uh, snake wine. And, uh, some people actually drink it, and some people just keep it in their homes as a as an ornament or something. But ooh, guys, no. I saw there was one with the uh, snake and scorpion in as well. I think this is it guys it seems like a well like a central park where um, I see a whole lot of students out here with their books and laptops and it seems like they're doing the assignments but it's a very chill vibe there's another one very chill vibe let's see I think on weekends there are some activities here, they might have some stalls up here as well. Alright, Google Maps has told me that you have arrived at Tao Dan Park. So this is the park. And it seems to me guys with these uh, musical notes and instruments that they have here that there are probably some music being done here as well. Definitely, I see some students doing paintings there as well. So, are they growing the trees? And that might be a pagoda. I'm not sure. Let's see, that's a pagoda or a shrine. So apparently guys, Taodan Park is a famous open space here in Ho Chi Minh City called Paradise on Earth. So apparently when you visit here you get the authentic Saigon experience. Peaceful out here. I actually think I just want to sit down and chill out here for a bit. Just enjoy the surroundings, the trees. Just feel so 
tranquil out here. Definitely have a lot of students out here drawing and painting. Look at that. I just asked one of the students um, what it is about the drawings and he said that it's uh, assignments for school so uh, it seems that all of them have this assignment so cool 